feel your necks. <laughs> you guys have been asking me for shelf styling. I told you I was gonna do shelf styling. I didn't do shelf styling, now I'm doing it. Shelf styling video. A blank canvas. A blank canvas. I just cleaned it with some Windex. So we're gonna talk about shelf styling today real quick. Do you wanna talk about shelf styling at all? I know nothing about shelf styling. I will defer to you on this one. That's like <laughs> me going, do you wanna talk about helicopters or something? No, I don't wanna talk about helicopters. Actually, I made her do that in one episode, uh, link up here. There's like a load of information on the internet about how to style a shelf, but I kind of made up my own technique. It's the four Fs, okay? This is Peggy Peckham original. We've got function, we've got focal, we've got fill, and we've got let me explain. First, we're gonna talk about function. That's what we're gonna fill the shelf in with first, is the things that this shelf is here for. So I'm gonna put the things that it has to hold here first. But I've got some boxes on the bottom that I've already placed here. Nobody really sees the bottom uh, one, so I try not to put anything too pretty down there. And I've got this giant Jesus ass picture up here. Function, uh, what do I want on my shelves? Well, I definitely want my lenses here. I have nowhere else in this office to put my lenses. So if you've seen our office video where we made this room into like a guest room slash office slash studio. It's a lot of functions, but I don't really have a place for my lenses. They're gonna go on this shelf because it's like a medium area for me to come and grab them. If they were up here, I'd be like, whatever. And then they have like a longer place to fall. If they're down here, I can't really see them here. I don't wanna put them on the glass, even though all these shelves are glass. I can put them here. I have all these Pixel Lens t-shirts and I put them in a tray to kind of contain them and I rolled them up so they'd be cute on my shelf. Um, some people have been asking how they can get one of these shirts. We are not selling them, but we are giving them away. So stay tuned for a giveaway at some point. All right, I'm gonna toss these down here on the shelf. They don't have like a lot of space for bags. Everywhere else is like covered in bags and this is a really pretty one. So I am gonna put this one on my shelf and put it up here because I like the brown on the glass. The brown on the brown is like too much brown. Brown on the brown is too much brown. <clears throat> brown on the brown is too much brown! So books don't always have to go vertically. You can put them down like this and it looks cool. But also keep in mind that if you have books that are on their bums, like flat like this, then maybe up here they could go vertically, they could go horizontally here. So just kind of mix and match layers. Okay, now this is not actually a book by the way. This is a notepad. Somebody asked me what it was. That is what it is. Get me Andy Warhol book. And you guys have probably seen this in a couple of our videos. One of my old vintage cameras. I'm gonna pop that on top. So we have like a little bit of a layered look here. We've got a wide book, a small fat book, and then the cute camera. But there's like, it's very plain in here. So I do have a piece of art that I bought and the art alone was just too like against the wall. It just disappeared. So I stuck it on a, what is this called? Clipboard? Schools. Clipboard. Now we can use this as a leaning piece. Don't be afraid to lean your art or your books. And now that adds some like height to the shelf. So there's not this big white gap. You're a big white gap. Your face is a big white gap. <gasps> Whoa! So I'm gonna add a plant that I had in the other room. I'm gonna steal it from the living room. Be right back. Look at this Jesus thing. Huh. I'm gonna stick this back here. I'm gonna actually just start adjusting some things. I'm gonna move the book over. And now the balance is a little bit better. Oh, is this the rule of threes? You have like one, two, three? Yes, this is a good example of the rule of three. So but there's like a rule of three within a rule of three. No, it's a rule of three within a rule of five. What Chris is talking about rules of three, when I talk about rules of three, it's taking items, like three items that are different shapes, heights, and sizes, and of different textures and colors as well, and kind of mixing them, either stacking them, putting them into like a little vignette. Those things are really visually pleasing. Our eye likes to see groups of three, groups of five, odd numbers. Here we have a group of three, the camera, the book, and the book but it's within a group of five. So we have the art piece, which is like a focal point and it's a leaner. We've got our plant greenery, which is kind of like a fill piece, which we'll talk about soon. And then the three here, so we have five pieces. So I like that balanced digging in. Next. Okay, so I really like vintage and old cameras, but this one came from Chris somewhere in Chris's. Why don't you pop in and tell them where this camera came from? This is the Elmo Super 8 Super 8 Sound 101 2S XL Macro, which is my grandfather's old Super 8 camera. I actually bought a bunch of Super 8 film for it. Oh, look, there's a Rolla K40 still here, Kodachrome 40. I actually used this to shoot some intros um, for an old BMX video we did. So it kind of gives you that really old school film look. I was really into film burns back in like the early 2000s. So I was just trying to like, you know, I'd be filming with like the door open, like trying to get light leaks and everything. But anyway, put this on the shelf. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put this down here. 
but it definitely needs something in the background, so I came up with this idea. I found this box at Target. It's got a really cute inside with these little X's. So I'm actually gonna use that as like a backer to add height in the shelf. And then I'm gonna kind of like stick that in there so it's got some layers, some depth. Oh, it's and, like a frame. Yeah, it's like a frame. And it's a shadow box. It's kind of like a shadow box. And the light kind of makes some shadows and depth because of the box, so it's kind of cute. I've got these little lens babies that I'm gonna stick here. Storage. Um, I hate this, so now that this is coming together, I think this needs to move over, but I think it needs to be on something, so I'm actually gonna stick the bag on top of this book. I'm layering it up. All right. Honey, that's two items and you've broken your rule of three. Wow, we got a couple of our focal points here now. We've got our electric tower shelf area. We've got the cool old camera, our bag, functional things here. Mm, stick this book up here. We got this old flash my dad gave me. So, okay, now we have like two groups of two and I've run out of items, so that's where the last F comes in. So the third F is fill, so filling things in. But the problem is, is that I actually don't have anything to fill this in with. So in comes the fourth F. When you're doing your shelf and you step back and you go, I don't have enough shit for my shelf. Um, what I really want actually is like more greenery. One plant is definitely not enough because I've been on a plant kick. So we're gonna head over to our friend Billy and Pat's house, pick up a few plants because they have this new cool company called Daddy's Plants. I also have to go to dance class tonight. So we're gonna pop over there, get a few plants. I'm gonna go dance with my friends and then we'll finish this a little bit later. Cut to Billy and Pat's. Okay, now we're at Billy and Pat's house. How did we get here? Oh yeah, we drove. <laughs> Plants. It sounded like a fart. It did sound like a fart. It probably was. <laughs> Becky always does this. She thinks she has enough stuff for her shelves. And then she's like, I don't have enough stuff. We came to our friend's house, Billy and Pat, who actually have a company called Daddy's Plants. I don't know anything about plants, but why don't I toss it over to them and they'll tell you exactly what they do. Yeah, we do uh, a mixture of desert and tropical plants. So things that you find in climates that are not buffalo. This is like our in-between uh, pop-ups plant selection right now. What I like is you literally could just go and the whole selection, everything's awesome. So you could just blindly pick out things and hope you don't hit the cacti. It's a very well curated selection. Billy, I guess you do most of the, the, the it is mostly yeah. me, yeah. And I do think it's so important when people purchase plants to buy them in groupings that have the same care needs, whether it's lighting or watering. People either, when they come to like one of our pop-ups, they're either like, oh my God, I love plants. I know this, I know this, I have this, I have this. Or they come and they're like, I like plants, but I kill them all. <laughs> there's really no one, there's no in between. Simple things like, where is this gonna go in your house? What what kind of light do you get there? And like also, what is your care level in terms of like, how much care do you wanna put into it? And how much care like, are you actually gonna put into and it? We can find something don't wanna that works. put any care in. Okay, um, give me your carefree plant because Becky's gonna kill this thing. Becky. <laughs> you have such good windows. Should I do a, a, a shelf roulette? Well, we picked a little selection of ones that would be, number one, art would look pretty because we know you guys have Great style. So we picked ones that would look nice on the shelf, but like we, you know, we've been to your apartment, so we know you get pretty bright indirect light or direct light, depending on which way you're facing. So these is this is like a good little spread to pick from. Yes, yes. we made these ones. These are poured concrete. I have a lot of fun making them. I'm gonna start painting them soon. Right back. Pick what okay, you want. What are we thinking? Watermelon, really peperomia. Yes. We like him. Okay, so I'll take him and a concrete. Sure. Okay. Snake plant, which I think is. Pretty attractive because normally they're yes. dark, much darker green. I He's like cute. that. This guy. Yeah. I feel like we have like a big one, a medium, and then this little mm -hmm. tiny. Yeah. One. And these two, like the care would be the same on those. And this is a watermelon peperomia. Mm -hmm. That's a parallel peperomia. You, you, know, you have some big snake plants for me. Yes. yes. You I'd like two, two please. Just be careful when you water it because a lot of times I've, I'll be like, let me water. <laughs> like, <laughs> goggles might be necessary. Guys, that's yeah. Perfect. Yeah. No problem. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, we'll link your channel up here and all the daddy stuff down here, and you should okay. go follow because they have the coolest stuff. Here Becky helped me learn how to do product shots, so that was a big deal. We set up a little studio thing mm -hmm. with a window. I needed a session that gave me confidence and that did, yay. so. Uh, yay. I'm glad it worked out. Yeah, so I can't excited. wait to see them on the shelf. Okay. Back to the office. Snap back to the office. Oh, I was gonna oh. Snap back to the office. Back from Billy and Pat's slash dance slash it's a different day. It's not actually a different day, I just changed my clothes. <laughs> I can't wink, I'm like, <laughs> We've got some plants. So now we're gonna do the fill. When you're doing your shelf and you're trying to figure out what goes in there besides your functional pieces, like like I mentioned earlier, art, decorative bowls, vases, plants, 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 more plants, plants. You can use baskets, boxes, whatever. But this is in my office, so we're doing a camera shelf with plants. 
I'm gonna add a plant here. I don't remember what he called it. This is the guy that tipped over in the car. Oh, uh, crap, don't tell Becky. But I ruined one of her plants already. He's got some cuts and scrapes, but he's doing okay. There's new growth down there. It's cracked off. And that's the pot that Billy made, which is pretty dope. So stick that there. A little rule of thirds happening. So we got a tall leaning item. We got a little plant action, something that's sentimental to me that I like a lot. There, that's better. This, I actually still have one camera left over that hasn't gone on the shelf. This is my dad's old camera. He gave it to me last summer. Literally made me cry. I think I talked about it in a previous vlog. This was his first camera that he brought it down the summer and I like could have died crying because it was the sweetest. So I do would like to, I do would like, I would like to put it on the top shelf, but I have a plant that I want to put up there first. So I got this big Jesus snake plant. Stick that guy up here. We put it off to the side just to kind of balance some of the plants. Throw that vintage camera. It's basically just put a bunch of clusters of threes. Pretty that's, much. That's like the foolproof take home mm -hmm. message here is just put a bunch of cluster of threes up there. Yeah, clusters of threes and make sure that things are different enough height and color and texture. A, a vertical thing, a flat thing, glossy, matte. It's just different stuff. I got one more plant. I am going to throw it down here. Uh, don't be afraid to move shit around too. Like literally most of the time when I shelf style, it takes me like two hours to do it. Like that coffee shelf took me two hours of just like placing things, stepping back, moving, trying other things. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't come together right away because it's not going to come together right away. You're going to have the power of video and the power of me doing this beforehand. <laughs> but yeah, you can switch it out. You can play with it. Uh, layers, textures. Don't be afraid to lean your books. Uh, layer your books, you know, lay them flat like this. Maybe do some vertical one. Just kind of try to balance it out, step back, look. If you're frustrated, go on Pinterest, have a look, and get some ideas. I hope that was helpful for people. It's sure helpful for me. Oh, whoops, sorry. I think that I, like, would you? One day I will challenge you to a shelf styling thing and just give you items and see. It. Maybe one day I'll challenge you to a helicopter competition. That's, that doesn't make any sense. It does make sense. You're always like, uh, next time you're flying. So next time you're styling. Okay, all right. Well, did you like my suggestion with that little sideways shirt off? Actually, it is good because it's not even down there. Actually, that's exactly. a lot that's, better. That's what it is. That's what it caught my eye, it was mm -hmm. that it wasn't even. And I was like, oh, we should do something with that one odd rogue shirt. Yeah, it acts as a good background for a video anyway, and Billy and Pat's plants are the cutest. Why are you smiling at me like that for? Do I have something more to you? You love shelf style. I mean, it's I adorable. love, like, I love shelf style. Like, if I could pick one other thing to be in a, I'd, what? <laughs> You'd be a shelf style. Are you crying? Yeah, it's like one of my favorite things. I don't know, I just love it. I love the whole process of like picking out shit, putting shit on the shelf. I think we need like a shit counter in the corner. <laughs> How many times I said shit? I think you need to end this too because my arm is shaking like this. Oh, I hope you guys found this helpful. Pinterest board below if you want some inspiration. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't know. Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something in my mouth? No, I'm just waiting for you to the, the sound video. of my mouth? No. <laughs> if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Is that quick enough for you? There you go. Guy, I felt like I was you at like 360. You were like, oh, all sorts of minimally business. And everyone was like, huh? I so forget. Let's put that on the okay. <laughs> this is a. Character. <laughs> <laughs>